Leaves are falling off the trees. People are cleaning out their gardens. Don't just put all that organic waste into the garbage because Halton Waste has a plan for you. Here to tell us all about it is Nicole Watt. She is the Waste Diversion Education Coordinator from Halton Waste. Nicole, you're going to have to educate us today. Tell us about the Yard Waste Program. All right. So talking about the yard waste, of course, tis the season, the falls, the leaves are falling. It is the fall season and we have lots of yard waste cleaning to be had. So our yard waste program is a seasonal program. So it actually runs from April to December. And we are collecting all of your yard trimmings, leaves, sticks, twigs. It can be fallen fruit from trees on your property. Big thing for us is that we don't want to see things like rocks, clay, sod, soil, grass clippings. These are unacceptable items in our yard waste program. So we have lots of great things. And of course, too, with the seasons upon us, we have a lot of fall decorations. So if you have things like corn stalks or hay bales, you know, those fall moms, those planters, making sure that those are getting into our yard waste program but not the plastic containers and decorations that go with them. Makes total sense. Those are not going to break down organically for sure. Now, I do see a lot of brown bags out there, you know, the compostable ones that you can go buy at the, at, you know, at the, at the Walmarts or whatever store you're going to buy them at. But are there other things that we can put the yard waste in? Yeah, so I'm glad that you mentioned those paper uh, brown yard waste bags. So again, mm -hmm. you can buy them pretty well at any local hardware store or grocery store, which is great. But a lot of people actually don't realize they can also use a large, rigid, reusable container. So a great example would be a garbage can, you know, one of those plastic containers. Now, of course, we would require you to put one of these beautiful yellow yard waste stickers on. So that is a sticker you can get for free from the region. So you can either call 311 or visit our waste website. So halton.ca backslash waste, and you can order those stickers for free. So you're going to put that beautiful yellow sticker on your reusable container. And now all of your leaves, your sticks and twigs can go inside of that container. Now, I do recommend if you're using that rigid container to maybe drill a couple holes in the bottom just to allow the water to, you know, drain out of that. No problem. And we always say no lid on those containers so mm -hmm. that we can see that it is yard waste inside of it. Okay, so let me uh, ask a question for some of the uh, the people who don't care for raking, aka myself. Uh, if I leave the leaves out on my lawn, is there any benefit to that, or would it be detrimental to my poorly kept lawn? <laughs> well, well, in this case, it's actually a really good thing to leave your leaves on the grass or in your garden. So, of course, if you're leaving the leaves in your garden, it is going to protect your plants during those colder months. And it's also providing a home for our pollinators. So we do actually recommend that you leave those leaves in your garden. If you're gonna leave your leaves on your grass, mulching it's always a great idea. Leave it on your grass so it's gonna decompose over the winter. And it's actually going to provide those extra nutrients to your grass. It's gonna help with weed control and even water and soil retention in the spring. All right, so let's get very specific. Monday, Halloween, which means Tuesday, lots and lots of pumpkins to be removed from homes, uh, what is the best practice in disposing of said pumpkins? Yes, thank you for mentioning that. So pumpkins, please place them in your yard waste containers or yard waste paper bags. They are a yard waste acceptable item. Now, of course, when you are placing those jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins in, please make sure you're removing candles or batteries. Uh, flashlights, you know, things like that, or any sort of plastic type decorations you may have had on those jack-o'-lanterns. We just want the pumpkins going into that yard waste program. Makes sense. That's what's going to decompose. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much for these tips. Really appreciate it. Let's do this again. Uh, next time, I'd love to talk blue box because I never know what should be in and what should be out. Now, of course, I can always give you that information. I would love to come back, but I also remind everyone, head over to our website, halton.ca backslash waste. We have all of our program information on there, including acceptable items. And we've got some really great online tools like our collection reminder tool. You can sign up to get those reminders. We have a put waste in its place sorting tool where you can actually type in an item and it will tell you what to do with that. And of course, we have all the information about the Halton Waste Management site, because of course you can drop yard waste off there year round. And it will give you the hours of operation and any fees that might be associated with some of those materials. So thank you very much for having me here today. I appreciate it.